what's going on everybody welcome back to the pace of the channel my name is rashad we're living by the code and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about how i got my first job and really giving you the good juicy tips on how you can get your first job if you are trying to become a developer so without further ado let's jump right into it so what this tip i must say is really going to be for an exclusive type of developer and i'm gonna call this developer the i just need to make money developer so this is not going to be for people who are looking to get their first fang job that's not what i do here i never worked at fang to be completely transparent however if you are looking to make money get a job that makes money i'm going to be telling you the three most important tips that I use that actually got me a job and I know this will get you a job. So without further ado, that tip is you need to become a specialized developer. What do I mean become a specialized developer? And I mean it really in three specific things. Me, my first job that I ever got was a WordPress developer. I was making custom WordPress themes. Um, I had got a start in SEO from that point on. Um, I was doing SEO from doing SEO. I always had to make the client a new website. So it started with the plugin press website and then it kind of built itself from that point on. So WordPress kind of became my niche. I work with a lot of small businesses. They all use WordPress um, until the merge of um, uh, WooCommerce came. Um, not the merge of WooCommerce. They used in WooCommerce a lot. Then when Shopify came, it became a Shopify thing. And as more businesses use those platforms, more problems started to occur that you needed a specialist to kind of do when a bug went wrong you needed to know php to kind of debug it or when you needed a custom theme or something like that you needed more of an expert and that's why i came in i was a wordpress developer specializing in wordpress doing a lot of php that was my first specialization and i think it was awesome that i landed inside it side of it and why i think you should too is because a lot of those things those super smart people they really don't like WordPress. They really don't like developing um, custom themes for WordPress and things like that. However, if you Google it, you look at it and see like 90% of all, like of the billions of websites, 90% of them run off WordPress. So why not specialize in that? You need to make money specializing in WordPress. Another one, which I handed off earlier, which is Shopify, like out of e-commerce stores i think I, I don't know the statistics so i'm just guessing I, I, if i had to say i would say like again 80 to 90 percent of all e-commerce platforms are run off shopify so when those individual business owners have issues and even agency work because i had done i've done agency work in the past and that's always been when shopify emerged that's always been a shopify developer on payroll as well so you had your wordpress developers and you have the Shopify developers inside of those agency worlds because Shopify is another huge one. Anything go wrong, you need a Shopify specialist to help you out. Some of these websites make hundreds of thousands a day, if not a month, um, you know, so they can afford to pay somebody, you know, an easy, you know, six figure salary to make sure that if anything goes wrong at the snap of a finger, they have an expert on hand to fix it. And once again, because these are not sexy jobs, people in fame people who want fame jobs people who go to these incredible schools to get these computer science degrees don't want to work these type of jobs so i think that's another great one another great one which is again inside of that agency world where you don't need degrees and it's highly specialized html email development if y'all don't know like 90 once again i'm at the 90 percent like 90 and nah, i'm really say 70 to 80 percent of most businesses revenue comes from their email list like we all check out email lists whether it's gnc whether it's you know your favorite course seller most of these companies don't use the regular templates that you see from you know a mailchimp or something like that usually it's a specialized platform whether it's a salesforce or um, you know, whatever, you know, Kajabi, you know, not Kajabi, uh, Clavio, whatever kind of like specialized platform they're using. If you know how to develop on these platforms to get these emails, they be sent out, get them delivered and know how to be an ACML email developer. You can also get a job. And another one is becoming a Salesforce developer. I, I have never specifically worked with 
um, a Salesforce developer, but I know it's something that companies hire for all the time because I see it a lot. I do know a few people. I just I just don't have experience as myself as uh, working as a Salesforce developer. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because, like, again, once I'm saying, if you only know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, React, every college grad coming out of Washington State, MIT, Duke University, Kentucky, these are all computer science grads with those same type of skills that you're going to be competing against. And why not make yourself stand out from the crowd and make money if that's all you're trying to do is make money i highly recommend you picking up a specialization pick one of the four i just named really the three actually wordpress shopify html email developer so for i know for wordpress because that's primarily what i work with um, php is great learn php most developers hate php php is awesome it's not the same that it used to be Everybody know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but now you know PHP. So now you that's a way for you to stand out from the crowd as well. So go get a specialized skill, and I promise you, you're gonna start, you're gonna start making money as soon as possible. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like the video, make sure that you give it two thumbs up. If you have a video or you have a comment on this video, please make sure that you leave a comment below. And actually, I'm just curious, like how many of y'all will actually actually are going to do some research into uh, into developing one of these skills? I want to know. So which one are you going to pick? Comment down below. And if you want me to make a video about something, make sure you also comment that down below as well. But until the next time, guys, happy coding.